In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the front flex pipe on the exhaust for this Chevy Trax. So the first thing I want you to do is follow the O2 sensor harness up to the connector here. Locate it. There's a tab right here. It's in a bracket, which is nice. It holds nice and still for you. I want you to squeeze that tab right there. If you need some help with some needle nose, you can use it too. And uh, that way you can take that O2 sensor out before you start hammering on the exhaust. Just like that. So right here is the O2 sensor itself where it screws into the pipe. So you're going to take your O2 sensor socket or a 22 millimeter wrench and you're going to break that free. We're going to take our socket off. And now we can take this out. And the reason why you want to take this out and not leave it in is because you don't want to bang it on something as you're taking the pipe down because you could break the internal parts of the O2 sensor. And right now it's functioning perfectly fine. So we don't want to replace it if we don't have to. I'm going to use 13 millimeter to all three. Now we can get the back two bolts. One more to go. All right, now that we have all five nuts out, you know, two sensors out of the way, we're gonna take a little screwdriver pry bar and we're gonna pry it out of the front studs we clear it like that and now we can work to the back side wiggle that free and do the same to the two back there might have to hammer the actual studs that go through there it, there it is okay now we can bring it down and you can see that you have these are metal gaskets they are reusable so if you if they're in good shape you can reuse the factory gaskets if not Make sure you replace them. So at this point, you want to examine the studs. If you have a bad one like this one, eh, I'm going to give it a shot. because Sometimes it can be more headache trying to get those out. These two are in good shape. This one's a little thin right there, but we're going to try to use it. Put a new gasket on or use your old gasket if it's reliable. In this case, I'm going to use the old one. It's still in good shape. You're going to put the pipe up around over the subframe. Bring it up front. Line those three studs up and I got some new hardware I'm gonna put the hand start the actual lock nuts these are lock nuts are nice they have a washer already built in and for the back too you're gonna to need two bolts and two nuts and this is where I'm gonna recommend you putting the bolt from the back side down because then it would be easier to guide that gasket in place. And then put that bolt right through. There we go. There's one. Get the other side. There's two. Now we can put the two lock nuts on. I'm going to tighten the front three first before I tighten this back too. 13 millimeter, snug it right up all three before you really tighten it. Then as far as I'm concerned, I can't imagine that exhaust has a torque. I'm pretty sure it's, it's 
tight as you can get it. Obviously not with a half inch gun, but by hand. Now I'm gonna get the back two, same 13 millimeter socket. Um, could get a little tricky. We might have to put a wrench on the other side because this is a bolt and a nut going through. I gotta get a wrench. So with a 13 millimeter wrench on the back, now I can really tighten up this. I'm gonna do the same to the bottom. So before we put the old O2 sensor back in the new pipe, I'm gonna put a little never seize on the thread center that O2 sensor and start by hand. I recommend threading it in as far as it can go, then snugging it up, totally tightening it before you plug it in. Sometimes the wires can get all twisted if you don't. Once again, it's an O2 sensor socket or a 22 millimeter wrench. really a tight fit, but I have a pair of long needle nose pliers on it holding the harness side so that I can fish the O2 sensor harness up and connect it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.